Right now at six, a local student making amazing strides in COVID-19 research. No doubt his drive coming from the unprecedented upheaval that the pandemic has had on his life and those of his classmates. Yeah, students pivoting from one COVID protocol to the next, and that inspired this Charlotte private school student to research how effective these practices are in the classroom. WCNC Charts, Chloe Leshner live at Providence Day School. Chloe, his research is published now. Yeah, he really is an impressive teenager, but like so many other kids back in March 2020, he was just wondering how he could safely get back in the classroom alongside his friends and teachers. And what he learned will actually help guide policy moving into the future. Sophomore Pavan Thacker thrives learning on campus at Providence Day School. When we were online, really, it was difficult to connect with your teachers and classmates um, when you're seeing them only over a video screen. He was relieved in-person learning started again in the summer of 2020, but he was also curious about what could keep him and his classmates protected. And when I first heard about the plan to come back to school, uh, it was really not known what what measures worked, what didn't work, whether schools would be safe. So he decided to find out, passionately collecting data on COVID spread in the classroom and how masks and vaccines can play a role. Eventually, he reached out to researchers with the ABC Collective, like Dr. Ibukan Kalu. And he championed this cause from the beginning all the way through publication. He now has two original research studies published in peer-reviewed scientific journals, the latest in pediatrics, underscoring the importance of COVID shots. We found that unvaccinated students had eight times the rate of COVID-19 infection compared to vaccinated students. Providence Day School will switch to mask optional on Monday following Mecklenburg County guidance. School officials, of course, say they are very proud of him. Live in Charlotte, Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte. Yes, we all are very impressed. What a great story. Chloe, thank you.